Welcome everybody, episode seven, Catfish and Chris. Um, I'm in a super, super top secret location today. Nobody knows about this spot, except for like everybody, but it's a super top secret location. And I'm using, I'm pulling out all the stops today. I am going all out um, using the most high end top secret top of the line gear that you could ever imagine or hope to see um using experimental baits that nobody has ever used before and you can only get it in certain places like gas stations but it's super super top secret it's super expensive high quality baits uh got about two hours so i'm gonna give this little creek just because i didn't want to be at home you know fish as much as i do you kind of get the itch which i stay itching because of that like i, I my vehicle is a mobile tackle station we'll put it that way anyway i'm gonna get my gear out get the gopro and everything set up and we'll see you down on the water anyway this is where i'm gonna fish for a little bit about two hours this afternoon i got a stick in my shoe dang it I'm glad it hasn't rained today or yesterday because this bank is very steep and very slick when it is. Like, I'll show you when I get down here how far down this bank you have to walk, which distance wise it's not very far, but it's besides the point. Um, yeah, it's only about a 15 foot drop in a very short span, but. Anyway, I'm gonna get set up Get some lines out. There's almost no flow in this creek right now, but it is very 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 up um, Usually like during the fall and winter months. This is about six or seven foot lower than it is But who knows what's in here? Um, well, actually I know what's in here. There's all kinds of catfish and carp bass crappie you name it turtles of course but anyway, I'm gonna get set up. We'll see you in just a minute. All right, I'm set up. Um, about to get my lines in the water, but I wanna show y'all this super secret, high quality, high end, never before seen or used bait and gear that I'm using today. Now this is just top of the line experimental kind of stuff. I'm talking about NASA don't even know about it. DARPA don't even know about it. But yeah. Night crawlers, yeah, that's some good stuff right there. And then, as far as the rods go, only the best of the best. Zebco 33s, yeah. Bet y'all wish y'all had high quality equipment like this. <laughs> Not for real, I I didn't feel like using anything else i was like you know what i've got a bunch of zebco stuff sitting in the corner so why not so i'm not going to say this is a zebco challenge video because i honestly just don't like the idea of challenges they're too repetitive on youtube as it is but yeah we're going to go old school just a split shot down to a hook night crawlers and a couple zebcos Get them casted out. Everything's set up. Everything's casted out. I've got a night crawler over here um, in this deeper part, just on the other side of this tree, which I'll probably end up getting snagged into. Um, and I've got another night crawler over here where it's a little bit shallower, but it's just as snaggy because there's a lot of rocks and crap like that in there. So it's 3:30. We're gonna give her to about 5:30, maybe six, and then head back stay tuned all right we just got a hit on this one right here and i think it's still there i think he dropped it as soon as i picked it up dang it hmm 
Nope, he's still there. I, he probably swallowed it though. What do we got? First species is a tiny, tiny little yellow bass. That right there would actually make really good flathead bait. Or just catfish bait in general. But I'm not out here specifically trying to catch catfish. This is just a back to the roots. Sit on the bank, catch whatever kind of kind of day. Oop. Well, that one's gone. Let's get her casted back out. I hit again. Come on. Quit playing with it. Another itty bitty little, oh that's a sinker I was pulling up. Itty bitty yellow bass. And he took my worm. So I'll get him off, get rebaited, and get her back out there. Is it still on? Yep. What do we have? Slightly larger yellow bass. And he's hooked pretty deep too. Yeah, he's bleeding. I'm gonna have to cut that one off. Kinda needed a smaller hook anyway. Open your mouth, goober. Alright, well, let's get another hook on there and get that one back out. Is it still on? Yep. What do we have? Slightly larger yellow bass. And he's hooked pretty deep too. Yeah, he's bleeding. I'm gonna have to cut that one off. Kinda needed a smaller hook anyway. Open your mouth, goober. get another hook on there and get that one back out I got something a little bit nicer finally and he's wrapped around that tree stump or that branch hey that's what I'm talking about barely hooked drum bed I like these fish they're, they're hard fighters for what they are I don't really care for them as bait now a a drum that size would be awesome awesome flathead bait but I'm not chasing flatheads today I'm chasing numbers let's get baited up and get her back out there this one I didn't even know was on he just kind of gave up and he's hooked pretty deep so I'm gonna have to let him or cut that one off and Rehook it. Put another little yellow bass. Got to get a picture of it from my log book. All right, let's get her re-rigged and back out there. All right, I'm gonna give her about 20 more minutes and call it quits. I had two rods out and. Bait got robbed off of both of them, so I reeled them in, rebaited them, tested this one, and since I'm not used to using spin cast reels, my hook and well sinker's in the creek now, my hook's over there in the tree with a chunk of nightcrawler on it, so since I'm fixing to leave, I'm just gonna leave that one out. And just let this one sit for a little bit. Go ahead and get my stuff back together so I can just up and leave. Cause we got some storms rolling in, so 
This one's getting hit already. This one's got the small circle hook on it, so it should be pretty easy for even like a bluegill or whatever to get a hold of. Um, doing some stuff for my TikTok while I was waiting and off camera. Starting a new series over there on my TikTok channel. Same as this one, Catfish and Chris. Um, YouTuber shout outs. There's ones I watch regularly, ones I know personally. Things like that, so go check that out. Follow me over there and on Instagram, same handle. But yeah, I'm gonna give her about 20 more minutes and then head back to the house. Well, I'm bringing this quick little two hour trip up here on this flooded creek to an end. Uh, got snagged and broke off. I was gonna give it about another 20 minutes, but oh well. Said screw it after the second rod snapped, or snagged and lost my gear. But anyway, um, didn't get skunked. Caught a bunch of little yellow bass, a couple of bluegill, and one drum. Um, just doing some basic creek fishing with Zebcos and night crawlers. Um, I've got another video planned I'm going to do later on. Um, talk about my little creek fishing, catfish, whatever bag. But anyway, if you like the videos, like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm going to try to do two videos a week, probably one for the time being. Um, I don't know, it just depends. Make it a lot easier on me to get everything edited the way I want them and trimmed up and all that and posted. But yeah, if you like the videos, like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video.